Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video is looking at enterprise resource planning, uh, shortened to ERP as well, and it's a form of digital technology. Um, and enterprise resource planning is basically the use of software to integrate key business processes in order to improve coordination and increase efficiency. Uh, it allows an organisation to collect, store and analyse data from across all of its functional areas. So, in other words, enterprise resource planning is a posh word for software that integrates all of a business's key processes into one. All right? It helps the organisation perform far more effectively if they've got one piece of software that, that can monitor and track the whole business. Um, so I think the best way to uh, describe it, well, we've got this uh, uh, little infographic here that shows, you know, we can integrate all of these different processes, purchasing, um, finance, customer web portal, distribution, we can um, integrate all of these things using one software program. So it might be best to illustrate this, the effectiveness of this with an example. Um, now my partner works for a small business that uh, doesn't use ERP, it doesn't have a whole piece of software that runs across the business. And a few weeks ago, they got a summons from a supplier saying that, you know, they haven't been paid and it was basically a court summons saying either you come to court or you pay us now. Now this was quite upsetting for my partner because um, she works she works for the accounts team and she hadn't been aware that this uh, supplier had needed paying. Now what had happened was the operations department, it's a business that, that's basically a manufacturer, uh, the operations department had ordered some raw materials from a supplier, it was a non-standard order um, and they had ordered from the supplier. Uh, the supplier had generated a, an invoice which had arrived with the raw materials, a paper invoice which was then uh, left on a desk and um, you know someone had forgotten to say you know we've, we've, we've done this on standard order they need uh, paying x thousands of pounds um, and it, you know it's, it was an unusual order here's the invoice can you please make sure that's done. Now the invoice had got uh, lost or misfiled or or whatever and and the organization hadn't been paid and then it all got very nasty very quickly now then if enterprise resource planning had been used um, what would have happened was the organization would have had one computer software program so if the operations team had required that extra uh, raw materials from a supplier they it would have been um, put through on one computer, the order would have been sent through to the supplier and that supplier could have generated an electronic invoice which could have come uh, through to uh, my partner's business and it would have flashed up, this invoice is here and it needs paying. In other words, we've integrated uh, the finance department and the operations department on one piece of software so it's all very clear what's happening. You know, and in a business that would use ERP, you know, it'd be very easy, for example, to do just in time production because maybe the customer could order on a website that generates uh, the order for raw materials, which could be ordered from the supplier. They arrive, it, the product would be designed, the supplier, the customer would pay uh, the organization. The supplier would generate their invoice for the raw materials and it would all be coordinated on one program rather than as many businesses have at the moment, you know, one program for HR, one program for operations, one finance program, uh, which can lead to uh, miscommunication, etc. like that story hopefully illustrated for you. So, you know, the benefits of integrating ERP across the functional areas are that all invoices and payments should be made on time to staff. It's very, because if we're integrating all of our processes, it's very clear which staff have worked what hours and therefore what money they're owed. Um, same for suppliers. 
in terms of marketing, you know, we could use a website to allow the customers to personalize their own product. So, um, you know, the, the, the order is generated online and we can do some mass customization where the customers are personalizing their product. Um, Operations, well, the ERP could be used to order supplies as they're needed or to monitor the quality of work. And if, you know, the work of a particular employee is, is not up to standard, then, you know, we could track that and, this, and the skill profile of that staff and identify what training that they may need. In other words, we're integrating using ERP all of the functional areas and it should make the organization operate a lot smoother, a lot more efficiently, and help the management make good decisions uh, based on the data that has been collected.